Welcome back everybody to Alan Wake. This is part three and I've just turned on a generator which I think has got the winch up and running. So we need to go back there and I think use the winch to uh, to proceed. So let's go. Back here somewhere? Just past this equipment. I think it's that box over there on the pole. There you go. And there's a light above it as well so I can hide under here and it will it'll be fine. Oh, I see. Ah. Oh, so we're making a bridge? Is that what we're doing? Do I see a thermos flask as well? I didn't notice that before. Okay, so let's leave it here. Right? So I assume we need to go up there, don't we? That's where the staircase is and everything. So is there a... Right, there's a ladder. But where did I see that thermos flask? It was over here somewhere. There it is! Hey, nice. Why thermos flasks just out of interest? I mean, of all the things to collect, why them? I think that'll be number four. Okay. Right, so uh, let's climb up the ladder, go across here, and head over to that little shack up there by the light. I'm kind of eager to try this shotgun out, I've got to be honest. I know I've only got like two shells for it right now. Just out of interest, can he point and shoot at the same time? Oh, he can. Ah, because of the way he's holding it. That's really quite cool. Nice. Okay, you're on. Now, see if you can get off. Oh, swinging a bit, isn't it? And, yes, yeah, sorted. In the back of my mind, I'm still wondering exactly what happened to Alan here. I mean, he dived into a lake and somehow he ended up in a car. Did he manage to save his wife? I mean, she wasn't in the car with me when I crashed. What's that there? Oh, shotgun ammo! And, is that another radio? Yes, it is. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night, I... I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Hang on, we've got some more of this yellow stuff. I've got to follow the trail, I'm afraid. Oh, there we go. Down here somewhere? Hey, found it. Okay. I thought these things were going to be really rare, but no, they seem to be littered all over the place. Another flare gun. Perfect. Great. Manuscript page, by any chance? That'd be nice. I think I've missed quite a few. I'm not sure, though. That's up, here we go. I think we're heading in the right direction now, and is that another manuscript page? I think it might be. Nice. Nice. Let's just have a little update, see how we're doing on that. And there's something down there, too. Okay, yeah, it seems we're picking up the pages just haphazardly, really. Not in any chronological order or anything like that. So perhaps I haven't missed these after all. Oh well. Cool. Yeah, I'm shining my light on something. It could be another thermos flask? I don't know. The gas station was closer it now. is. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Whoa. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> he's not trying to sell me Nordic walking anymore, at least. Or, or trying to kill me. But now he's rating hot dogs? What? Oh, hang on. Another generator, I think? And batteries as well. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, the, oh, the light. The light is going to save me, I think. Nice. That's called good timing, that is. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Full batteries, full bullets as well. Anyone brandishing a sickle or an axe out there? Safe haven, yeah. Who's writing this, I wonder? i got so many questions about this game at the moment. Am I writing in my own hints and tips, perhaps? Maybe I'm leaving my own marks. I don't know. So, we're heading to the gas station. So, it's going to be this way, I assume? Oh, shit. Oh, fucking hell. Looks like they came out of nowhere. Well, maybe they did. Maybe they... Can they spawn in the darkness? Okay. Right, yeah, I'm understanding why you need to insert batteries sometimes now. Right, okay, we deal with him. Jesus, there's a third? Right. Oh, another coffee thermos as well. Gotta go back and get that. Right. Sorted. I'm pretty much just keeping to the cliff edge right now, hoping to find a way down towards the gas station, but I, I'm not finding anything. 
Maybe it's best I go back to the path. Maybe I can find a light. I don't know. Quick, quick, go, 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 go. There's a shitload of fog around here. Oh, what's this? I, I think another manuscript page, but we're getting tailed again. Right. Yep. You next. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Nice. Got it. Got it. Okay, another manuscript page. I'll read that later on. Let's keep going. Okay, yeah, to the light, to the light. All right. It's actually pretty tense. Got to be honest. Okay, so, yeah. I don't know if my flashlight battery goes up quicker if I'm in the light, like my health regenerates or anything, but uh, seems like it might. More revolver ammo, of course, and some more batteries. Cool. I'm keeping myself topped up at the moment. Nothing too challenging. Haven't had to use the uh, the shotgun or the other flare, flare yet. Are we going down? I guess. Right, let's see. Oh, hang on. Some yellow stuff. Whoa, Jesus! What is it with the crows? Is that Carl again? Right. Ah, here we go. A yellow arrow. There's got to be something up here somewhere. Over here? Ah, there you go. I like this. The game sort of rewards you for being inquisitive, it seems. Another flare gun. Can I dual wield? Or I, oh, okay, I just take I just take the flare from it, it seems. Still, I'm going to take that. That's nice. Right, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Someone trying to cause a landslide? <laughs> Prefer if they didn't. Right. Let's see if we can find Mr. Carl Stucky. Oh. Huh. Is the, the old woman that keeps appearing in visions and stuff? Does she have something to do with crows? Actually, you know what? Don't answer that. Even if I've got it right, don't answer that. Because, I, you know, I've avoided spoilers thus far. I'd like to keep it that way. Right, this calls for a, this calls for a flare gun, I think. Anytime there's like three or more, I think, yeah, generally, I think so. <laughs> and I've still got one spare, too. That's great. And there we are. Another... Manuscript page? That can't be safe. Bloody hell. Alright, fantastic. Uh, let's go inside here. Maybe I can get the gate open. Oh, another shotgun as well. And some shotgun rounds. Great! Okay, ah. That's what I'm looking for. Is that for the gate? It is. Okay, anything else? Yeah, oh, hang on. The television? Ah. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. Is this like the Twilight Zone or something? In night spring. <laughs> right. It's got the same sort of Max Payne humor I love. Hope you don't mind, I'm gonna stay here and watch this. It would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each 
pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! <laughs> Didn't quite work out that time. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. That was fantastic. Considering it's pretty much just a side attraction, you don't even have to acknowledge it. I love that Remedy put that sort of stuff in their games. It made, like, Max Payne 1 and 2 so much more fun. Every time I see a TV now, I'm gonna check it, just in case I catch an episode of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Alright, that does not look safe. If I can help it, I am not going anywhere near that. What's this? A log cutter? Or something? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I've got my shotgun now. I seem to have 12 rounds for it, so I'm going to test it on the next person who pops up. And I'm sure it's not going to take him too long. And there's another crow! Are the crows spying for the woman or something? Well, Hang on. Mr. Stucky, you're around here somewhere. I know it. Hey. There he is. Right. Oh, God. Hang on. Oh, Jesus. Here we go again. Oh, no. Didn't get all of them this time. Nice shotgun, though. Long range, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ. Is this like a boss fight? I wasn't aware of this. Ah, that was a waste of a shell, really. I've got to get used to, to shining the flashlight on them before. Okay, hang on. Here he comes, here he comes. Go for him, go for him, go for him. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to uh, to dodging properly. You meant to hold shift? That's kind of an alien thing for me to do. It's usually to jump away. Oh, and I got him. Okay, hang on. Jesus, man, come on. Right, let's just go back to this. Oh, headshot. Got him. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights at the gas station alive. Whew, that was pretty hectic. Fun, though. Very fun. Right, I need to find a light, I suppose, to get my health back up. Because I don't think it regenerates otherwise, does it? The gas station isn't too far away now. Can we get this? Oh, hang on. These could be the gate controls, I'm hoping. Yeah, looks like it. Nice. Very nice. Alright, great. Okay, so when I reach the gas station, perhaps I can actually call for help and figure out what's going on. Oh, saw that earlier, didn't we? I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Yeah, for, for Deerfest, right? Looks a little bit worse for wear, actually. It's been patched up or something. Right, well, it may have taken a long time, but we did eventually After make it. The insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. 
and another manuscript page underneath the float. Okay, fantastic. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Okay. You are a legitimate amnesiac now then. Okay. Oh, hang on. Check it out. Another thermos flask. So yeah, maybe maybe Alan was actually writing his own story. He just doesn't remember it. I don't understand why the pages would be littered in the forest by the gas station, though, to be perfectly honest. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Bit of both, maybe. Whoa. Right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Is that the study? This. It'd been me on the TV. Shit. Talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Nordic walking, anyone? Right, find a phone. Let's look for a phone. Is there a phone right? Ah, phone by the till. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can what? take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Maybe this game has a lot more to do with that Night Springs TV show than I thought. Maybe this is all about other dimensions, other realities. There's nothing there. What the fuck? What the hell? Alright, this is getting good. Uh, is that the end of episode one, I would think? Okay, this game is really, really getting good. The end of episode one, though. Thank you very much for watching the first three parts of Alan Wake, and I hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are, then let me know. Leave a like or something like that. And I hope to see you back in episode two, or part four, very, very soon. See you then. Oh, hang on. Some yellow stuff. Whoa, Jesus. What is it with the crows? Is this like the Twilight Zone or something? <laughs> Long range, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ. Oh, headshot! Got him! There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can what? take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a...